are new here, welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. I'm so happy that you guys are here with me today. What I thought we would do, I'm having just like a quiet, chill, comfy day. <laughs> I probably will not change out of my comfy all day long and I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> I don't have anywhere to be. So I thought we would just have kind of a relaxed conversation, kind of chatty. Um, I don't know what the word is. Anyway, I thought I would share with you guys the plants that I've really been on a journey with, that have tested my patients, that are testing my patients, that are really frustrating for me and the struggles that I've had with these plants because I think it's important to share those you know not everything is hunky-dory picture perfect all of the time we have plants that die we have plants that we struggle with we have plants that struggle and I don't believe in whitewashing that stuff away. I don't know if that's the right term, actually, now that I've said it. I mean, like, I don't want just the Instagram reality or whatever. I want real life. I want, you know, to be genuine. I want to be transparent. I want to be honest with you guys. Those are all traits that I really admire and really strive to personify? No. I strive to act on, I guess. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the plants that I've been on a journey with. I'm probably just gonna give you guys footage of the plants and I will do a voice over. So let's get started. All right, you guys, we are going to start with this guy. This is Ross, my Norfolk pine. And as you can see, he's not very happy. It makes me so sad. Um, he was doing really, really well up, like, even the first, <sighs> I'm trying to think back. So I moved into the house in June of 22, and he was doing great, probably until about December of 22, and that's when my depressive episode really started or at least got really bad. It started earlier. Anyway, so he got neglected and I think that is what really set him back. And I think he's just slow to bounce back. At least that is my hope. He has been repotted in a chunkier soil and he is getting a little bit more TLC and tension. I am kind of babying him. I did, when I first realized that he was taking a turn for the worst, I kind of overreacted. I don't know if overreacted is the right word. I reacted strongly because I really, I've come to really care about him. And I didn't want him to die. So, you know, I changed his fertilizing schedule. I changed how much I was watering him and I watered him more. I added more light. Then I changed and started watering him less. And then I changed and started giving him less light. And it was all in the span 
of a really, really short time. And someone reminded me that plants don't bounce back like that. They just don't. And she said, you know, make a change, give it two to three weeks, let the plant get acclimated, let the plant adjust, and just leave it the fuck alone, you know? Don't try to do everything all at once. So we are on a journey together. I'm hoping it's going to end well. I'm really, really invested in getting him back to peak health because he is beautiful when he's at peak health. He really is. And he's so much fun. Um, heaven forbid, if he does die, I will absolutely be getting another Norfolk Pine and naming him Ross because I think this plant is just perfect for that name. I will link the video where I talk about Ross a little bit. I talk about Ross in a little bit more detail in my friend's collection video. So yeah, this is Ross. That's kind of been our journey. And hopefully we have a happy ending. So my second journey plant is this girl. This is Figalicious, my fiddle leaf fig. I also call her Fig or Figgy. And goodness, we have been on a journey together, you guys. She was actually highlighted in my September favorites video because she just completely took my breath away. When I got her in like July or August of last year, she was full, she was lush, she was just gorgeous. And come late January, early February of this year, she started dropping every single one of her leaves. And I'm sure I was guilty of trying too many different interventions at once. And that probably just made her angrier. But she continued to become more and more unwell to the point where she had dropped every single leaf. And so it's late January, early February, and goodness, how many months? Seven months pass, about seven months pass, and she has stayed bare that entire time. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. And you know, throughout that seven months, I had continued to care for her. And I was like, come mid to late August, I was like, this is ridiculous. I'm done. I'm just going to throw her away. And I kid you not, as I was bending down to pick her up, I spotted two new growth points. That is the only reason why I spotted them is because I was getting ready to throw her away. <laughs> So suffice to say, I'm really glad I didn't because from the end of August throughout, you know, up until now, she has just boomed. September was really her month. She shot out a ton of leaves. I experimented with using that cloning paste on her and she did fabulous with that. So I'm just really pleased. I'm so happy that this story has a happy ending. I'm so grateful that this story has a happy ending. And I just can't wait to see her, 
you know, return to her former glory. Hello again. Welcome back. So I do have one other plant that I would I had been on a journey with. She is unfortunately no longer with us. And that is Rachel my coleus. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but coleus la rumba. And I will try and insert a picture of what she should look like. So Rachel was one of my very first plants and she, so I think I got her in I'm trying to think. I must have had her for two years. I got her at a local nursery and she did wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I moved to the house. She took the transition like a champ. She did great. She Sorry, I, during editing, I have realized how much I say, um, and if my college TAs, college professors, English teachers throughout high school and middle school could hear me now, they would be so embarrassed, so embarrassed. So I try to be more mindful of that, but sometimes I get stuck, like the word just gets stuck in my head and I have to get it unstuck so that I can then find other words <laughs> to use. So if I have weird pauses like that, that's what's going on. What was I talking about? Okay. Rachel transitioned to the house very well. She was flourishing. She continued to flourish even through the neglectful period. And it was two months ago, I want to say. She had gotten so big that I ended up cutting her back. And she just never bounced back from that. She, I guess it stressed her out too much. And then I hadn't taken into consideration that with the time of the year and the season change, we were getting less light so I didn't need to water her as frequently but I was still watering, watering her at her like summer frequency and she ended up getting root rot so that was hard Rachel threw so she's one of my favorite plants in my friend's collection, but she was also one of my favorite plants throughout my entire collection. And like I said, you know, I've had her for a while, so that was just kind of disappointing and really rough. I tried doing what I could to save her, but she just, she was done. And I am going to get a new La Rumba. And her name will be Rachel because she's just the perfect plant, or that's the perfect plant to be Rachel. So yeah, that was unfortunate. That was a bit of a journey as well. Not as extensive as the other two that I've shared, but it was a journey. Anyway, guys, Thank you so much for joining me on this 
rather rambly video. <laughs> I hope it was interesting uh, for, darn it. I hope it was interesting for you guys. And it was interesting for me to kind of reflect on everything. So I think I'm just gonna kind of keep that at the forefront of my mind and continue to reflect on some of these experiences and the lessons that I have learned. Anywho, once again, guys, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next video.